Okay guys, it's Captain Buckaroo and I'm here to play something completely different. This is the murder of Sonic the Hedgehog. I just seen this out yesterday, I have no idea what it's about. And it looked interesting. I don't know if it's an official game, but eh, I'll give it a try. Yesterday was April Fool's, so could be a fool moment. Phew, made it on the train, 15 minutes ahead of schedule. So far so good for my first day on the job. Oh, I totally forgot my name tag isn't ready yet. I should make one. I'll just send my name here. Hello, my name is Buck, oh whoopsie doodly, whoop buckaroo. That'll do, that'll do pig. Buckaroo, did I, yeah, I know how to spell my name, I think. Don't I? Yeah, that'll do. <clears throat> Hope passengers can read my scribble. <laughs> the dining car. Okay. Uh-oh. Am I nervous? Is this first day on the job jitters? Work in the trains dining car can't be so bad. Come on, buckaroo. Shake it off. Slap. Who's this guy? Oh, buckaroo, did I uh, just see you hit yourself? This old fart. Uh, Mr. Conductor. Sir, how are you doing this morning? Ho, ho, ho. Quite all right myself. No feeling a little bit sweet. Is that because you're a oh, oh, yeah, why not? Trying to butter me up the first day? I'm a total brown, brown noser. <laughs> are we? Alas, today is my last day as conductor. I'm retiring after 32 wonderful years. Time for me and the Mirage Express to say goodbye to one another. Oh, congratulations on retirement, sir. Thank you. My wife is very excited about it. She's already got her plane tickets to Spagonia locked. Yeah, two days left to retirement or something, and suddenly Sonic will get murdered, I guess. <clears throat> Our shower's been on the fritz, so I'm excited to use the hotels. Fa ha ha. I can see why his wife's excited. Okay. Enough of my quibbles. Today's your first day of work in the dining car. Here's the menu for today. Menu added to your inventory. I can open the inventory anytime to view items I've received. You should look over the menu carefully. Okay, what's the menu? Chili dog, ramen, cordon bleu. Oh, that's not so bad. Like three things. Why do you look so nervous? All we have on the train is a microwave. Fa ha 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 ha. Though I'm sure a little quiz is in order. Which of these do we serve in the dining car? Uh, oh yeah, the cordon bleu. Ding, ding, ding. Glad you can read the menu, okay? Well, cheers, buddy. A little about the vessel. This is a state-of-the-art, high-speed smart train with all the latest gadgets. This train can really handle anything you throw at it. We've had a lot of ventures together, me and this train. It's not easy to leave. After 32 years, I don't blame him for being wistful. This train is exclusively used for events. It's not a passenger train. I remember that from the interview. What's the event today? A murder mystery party. Nothing better than some trills to end my tenure as conductor. Guests will be funneled here to the dining car as a home base, so to speak. I'll be with you to gather tickets, but after that, you'll be on your own. So I'll need you to do everything in your power to make sure our paying guests are well taken care of. Understood? Dude, I can't afford to lose this job, man. I need the money. I I, I, if I don't, I'll be tr slinging tricks on the side of the street. You sure can't. The servants pay is lousy. Fa ha ha ha. Yeah, cheers, buddy. Doors to the Mirage Express are opening. All aboard. Damn, that's some serious looking Ziggy Stardust train. It's like Elton John was a train. Hmm, okay. Whoa, this train is incredible. What fascinating tech. You're right, Tails. I can get used to staying on a train like this. What did you all expect? You know I always go all out for my birthday party. 
This train's as elegant as you are, Amy. Can't promise I can won't take anything though. Calm down there, rogue. Rouge. Did I not just catch you stealing from the train station gift shop? It was a pen, knucklehead. Who's gonna miss a teeny tiny pen? What cast of characters am I stuck with? Get a hold of yourself, buckaroo. You're sweating through your uniform. Hey, pal. Can I get one of those chili dogs? Oh, there's my main man, Sonic. Radio old friend. Well, aren't you friendly? Why can't I be normal for one second? Dude, this is me being normal, like, you know. <laughs> wow, cheers. Sonic, wait until I announce everyone's roles to get food. Haha, <laughs> sorry about that, birthday girl. I'll be coming around to collect everyone's tickets. Please have them out and ready. I should really be putting more voices on people so, like, everyone would be able to, like, pick up which person I'm supposed to be instead of being monotone for everyone's voice. You join me, Buckaroo, won't you? Just click on whoever you'd like to talk to, and we'll collect their ticket. Oh, okay. Got it. Uh, let's check. Well, hello, you two. What can I do for you? Oh, wait, that's <laughs> the wrong voice for the wrong person. Good morning, ma'am. Can we get your ticket? Mama, how forward. Let me fetch it for you. Okay, I'm gonna be so annoying with these voices, so I'll just give up, guys. <laughs> Come back if you need anything else, you hear? Wow, she's so polite. Very easy to talk to as well. Ma'am, I saw you sneak that $20 bill out of my pocket. Gonna have to kindly ask for that back. Oh, this was yours? Must have slipped out. Here you go. I may not actually be the best at judging character. Who the heck is this? May I have your ticket, please? Thank you very much. On top of it, I see. A princess such as myself must always be punctual. P princess? Did she just say princess? If you don't mind me asking, are you visiting from somewhere? India, by the looks of your... Forehead? Is that like an Indian? Okay, I guess not, maybe. Uh, a separate dimension, actually. A separate what? Just here for Amy's birthday. Then I'll hop back to my own dimension. I quite prefer the birthday cake from this world more than my own, so I admit I'm a bit excited. Ho ho ho, you don't say. Well, I hope you enjoy your stay, princess. Sh should I buy? Do I buy before a princess? What are you doing? Please get up. Why can I not win with this grip? Who's this crazy looking dude? Hello, my friend. Can I get your ticket? Oh, yeah, sure, of course. As a gentleman of upstanding morals, I'd love to show you my ticket. He seems to be avoiding eye contact. Is something amiss, sir? I seem to have um, misplaced my ticket. Could you speak up a bit? I couldn't quite hear you. I misplaced my ticket. I don't know where it is. He's not hiding his embarrassment very well. Don't you worry. We'll take a look around for you and see if it turns up. Ah, that would be amazing. Thanks a million. Seems as though we should keep our eyes peeled for his ticket. I can't see no ticket. Is this a ticket? Who is this? Oh, wait. Oh, there's more people over here. What's this? What's sticking out of the napkin holder? Say, so wasn't someone looking for their ticket earlier? Let's be sure to return this to its rightful owner. Well, that was easy. And let's make sure no one uses their ticket as a napkin. Lost ticket is added to your inventory. Oh, and there's my main man, Knuckles. How'd I get... Howdy, could I please get your ticket? I, I think that's a ticket. But I really don't want to argue with this guy. Everything looks good, thank you. Seems the conductor doesn't want to argue either. Hmm. Can I get your ticket, young'un? Right here, sir. Thank you. May I offer you any of the snacks we have on board? No, thank you. When I travel, I always pack my own sparkle gelatin. Okay. What the heck is sparkle gelatin? It's a sparkly jelly that can melt 
any jaded heart. Oh, okay. That's a... Uh, sounds nice. No way. I brought my own sparkle gelatin with me too. It's my first day and I was a little nervous. Okay. Don't be nervous. You're doing great so far. We're sparkle gelatin buddies. Ha ha ha. Absolutely. If you need anything, just let us know. Thank goodness someone on this train is normal. Uh, who else have I not talked to over here? Amy. Could I please get the birthday girl's ticket? Tee! Why, certainly. Thank you, miss. And thank you for choosing our fine train for your birthday festivities. Well, the birthday discount certainly helped. Who doesn't love a good bargain? On a murder mystery train just sounds so exciting. It's right up my alley. Who doesn't love a good troll? You see, I'm a girl who loves a good true crime product. Show, you know, in fairness, point me out a girl that doesn't love a true crime podcast or true crime like uh, documentaries or anything. My fucking, it's part of my French. Uh, <laughs> my girlfriend is crazy for all them uh, serial killer podcasts and documentaries that turn up on Netflix or whatever. Maybe we should leave her to have fun. <laughs> Yeah, it's a good idea, Tay. You should, you should leave the uh, girls that are into the crime stuff and uh, to their own devices. Then people know how to get rid of a body. Before we move along for you, miss. Oh, have fun. Thank you. Where do I use this? That unlocks any door in the train. Happy birthday. The birthday girl gets the birthday key. It's practically tradition. Very useful. We'll use this wisely. Thank you. Uh, I talk to you, talk to you, talk to you, this dude. Here. Thank you, everything is in order. He seems concerned about something. Is there anything we can help you with? Do you sell gift bags here? So dark and moody. Uh oh, no sadly. But I have a plastic grocery bag in the back I could get for you. <laughs> okay. Uh, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> That's there. Brr, so cold. Buckaroo, you're shivering. Do you need me to fetch your jacket? Ha! No, no. I'm good. What the heck is that? Is that a nose or a horn? Can we please see your ticket? Espio. Of course. Excellent. Thank you. And I hope you enjoy your stay with us. Absolutely. I appreciate it. There's a calmness about him. Something about his presence puts me at ease. You consider me calming? He's looking right at me. I study ninjutsu. I believe one can communicate through the subconscious. Whoa, whoa, ninjutsu. That sounds like a lot of difficult training. Can you cling onto walls? Cling onto walls? What kind of question is that? I most certainly can. The conductor looks a bit too smug at that answer. Okay, the only one I haven't spoken to yet. What's this? Hmm. Yummy. Don't mind if I do. Buckaroo. Buck. <laughs> I mispronounced my own goddamn name. Buckaroo. Those are for our guests, you know. Be sure Buckaroo only gets one of those if they ask. Did the arm just kind of nod? Actually, uh, train, the conductor wants me to have the whole plate. <laughs> Good try, young buck. The train and I have worked together a long time. You'll have to work harder than that to get what you want. Drat, those sna snacks look really tasty too. The only one I haven't spoken to is my main man, Sonic. Ticket, please. Why are you wearing a captain of a boat's cap? What are you, like, cosplaying as Donald Duck or something? Thank you kindly. Happy to have someone as renowned as yourself on board. Don't worry about it. I just like helping. When Eggman took over, I truly feared the worst. But my kids swore you would swoop in eventually. And you did. I can't offer much other, other than my sincere gratitude. Don't sweat a thing. I'm glad you and your family are safe. 
wait a second. Is he... Is he Sonic the Hedgehog? I promise you an excellent stay on our train, Sonic. Have fun now. It, yes, have fun now. Will do. Thanks. Okay. And this dude needs your ticket. Oh wait, no, it's not you. Maybe I should uh, move on. Who lost? Oh yeah, he lost his ticket. Whoopsie. Find anything yet? Well, we just might have what you need. Bucky, why don't you show our friend what we picked up? I picked up a menu. This one. Ah, there it is. That's my ticket. Thanks so much to you both. I was really worried you kicked me out and I'd miss the murder mystery. Ho oh, ho, old Buckaroo here would have their, would have their hands fall kicking you out. <laughs> You're right, I wouldn't leave without a fight. Ha 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 ha. Fa ha 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 ha. Wait, you made me both microwave expert and security guard? You're both alright in my book. Thanks again for the assist. Of course, just let us know if you need anything else. Okay everyone, time for me to read out everyone's roles for the murder mystery. And that's my cue to leave. I must prepare the driver's compartment for departure. Ah, the conductor's car. You remember our promise, yeah? And you'll do everything in your power to make sure our guests have a safe and enjoyable time on the Mirage Express. Absolutely, you can count on me. To be honest, this groom seems plenty capable on their own. And train, assist Buckaroo if they need any help, won't you? Faha, that's all I need to hear. You have my trust. Nothing more heartwarming than a conductor and his train. <laughs> okay. Excellent. I'll be off. I must take my leave, everyone. Please have a phenomenal time. And don't worry about mucking up the place either. This train is state of the art and has systems for dealing with all that. For everything else, please talk to Buckaroo here if you need anything. Sounds good. Absolutely. Will do. Goodbye now. I like that guy. Thank you all for following the outfit guide I sent you. You all look amazing. I trust you all read your lore cards as well. Lore cards? That must be the details of their motivations. I suppose it makes sense lore cards aren't read out loud, otherwise people would know the murderer's intentions. Now on to the nitty gritty. For the murder mystery game, one of you will be murdered and the rest suspects. Everyone is assigned roles for characters they will be playing. Participation is required, for it is my birthday. Of course. Birthday girl makes the rules. Sonic, you are ship captain. And you'll be stationed in the conductor car. Naturally, that's where the ship captain would go. <laughs> okay. Tails, you are the detective. You'll be here in the dining car. Indubitably. Knuckles, you're the sheriff around these parts. We'll find you in the saloon. Got it. Rouge, you're a business tycoon, and Blaze, you're a titan of industry, both in the casino. What's the difference? There is none. <laughs> okay. Sounds fun. Vector, you're the butcher, and Espio, the poet, both found in the library. Hear that, Espio? We get to hang out together. And do what? Read? Maybe we can make a tower of books or something. Shadow is a locksmith, hanging out in the lounge. Hmm. And last but not least, me, the journalist reporter. I'll be moseying around with everyone. Did you get all that? Yes, I did. Ah, I was listening in. Hope that's okay. More than all right, you can help ensure everyone's following their roles. Oh, that reminds me. Wait, what? I have a map for each of you. Everyone's station is marked on the map as well. How convenient. Map added to your inventory. The rules of the game are as follows. There is a murderer amongst you all. The murderer can kill a single participant, whoever, however they choose, but you must physically be present with the victim for it to count. Everyone else must collect evidence throughout the train and use it to interrogate fellow passengers to figure out who done it. The murderer will lie to get out of the being accused, so inspect everything you can, find clues and interrogate. I'll set a timer for one hour so everyone can mingle and the murderer can do their thing. Is everyone ready? Sounds like everyone's excited. Everyone to your stations. Okay. This seems like an interesting game. 
Ah, this is so exciting. A mystery is unfolding right under our very noses. I know, it's kind of scary. I'll admit, I'm nervous too. Shouldn't you two be out there mingling with everyone? Well, actually, the te detective and the journalist can't be the murderer. So we're stuck here for an hour before going out and scooping, scoping the place. This way, there's always a neutral party. Makes sense to me. Seems as though Amy's more excited about deciphering the mystery anyways. What do you think everyone's doing? Oh, probably inspecting their stations and talking amongst one another. Everyone has roles to play, so they must be exploring their characters. Do you know what their character motivations are, Amy? No, the lore cards are confidential. No one knows but the person who received them. My backstory is that I was best friends with a flicky that just decided to join the evil Dr. Eggman, kickstarting my desire for justice in the world. My lore is that I'm a nosy person turned journalist. Aren't all journalists kind of nosy? Not gonna lie, this uh, kind of sounds fun. Wish I wasn't stuck on microwave duty. The train started moving. <laughs> Seriously? It's so fast, grab onto something. What is going on? Ah, I'm slipping. Oh, hold on. I, I can't. Ah, no. An Eggman comes and suddenly kills Sonic for real. Okay, what now? Am I like. You're both awake. Y yeah. It seems the train has slowed down considerably. Wow, how exhilarating. I know, the production on the train is astounding. It's definitely more intense than I expected. It seems to be knocked into the dining car's closet. This train can reach such incredible speeds. We're getting our money's worth with this experience, that's for sure. Is this actually intended? It's my first day, so I'm not really sure. I don't recall them warning me about this in the interview. We should go check on the others, Buckaroo. Could you get the door? Of course. Hmm, it seems the door is blocked and I don't think it's budging. Amy, give that fallen shuffle a whack with your pickle pickle hammer. Let's find another way out. I'll uh, start looking for clues. I'll search over there. I know Amy. She's hiding something. Uh huh. I suppose she did wake up as before us. Something could have happened. Listen, I know I'm the detective here, but all the best detectives are sidekicks. I'm gonna need your help. Let's gather clues on what Amy's acting this way and interrogate her about it. Check out everything you can around this closet. Then we'll show it to Amy to uncover the full situation. Gather evidence and interrogate. Got it. Okay. I'll need you to do everything in your part to make sure our paying guests are well taken care of. Understood? Understood. You can count on me, Tails. I won't turn evil like your ex flicky companion, companion did. Happy to hear it. Now let's get searching. Something's always hidden in the trash. Let's check there. Sadly, it's empty. But on the bright side, it's a very clean trash bin. How did we become as optimistic as this kid? Anything in? Anything up here? Nope, nope, nope. The shelf blocking our exit is currently not budging. Hey, Buckaroo, look closely at this. I wonder how this side of the shelf got smashed. There's nothing the shelf could have fallen into. And I'm sure this damage wasn't here before. The train has, has too much upkeep. I feel like this is important. We should log it. Crack on the shelf is added to your inventory. Uh, the wet floor sign keeping people alert and safe. Once I slipped on some spill juice at the grocery store, no wet floor sign at all. Can you sue? Luckily Sonic was there to catch me. Wow, Sonic is as fast as they say. But he was going so fast he also slipped in the juice. <laughs> We slid into an old gentleman's shopping cart. Well, it's a thought that counts, I suppose. That's all this shit. What do you think, Tails? Want me to cook any of this for you? 
When we get out of here, sure. I normally never make microwave meals. I prefer to cook. My cast iron skillet, my, my cast iron skillet has gotten a lot of use lately. I can cook a mean cast iron pizza. Haha. <laughs> I've only had microwave lunches this week. Let's see anything else. Love. What's the dustpan? What's this? What's this? A rod? The tip is broken. It looks like originally been attached to something. I'm not sure if it's related to our message, but I like spinning it around so we can keep it. Stick is added to your inventory. I think we found enough clues. Let's go interrogate Amy and find out what really happened. She broke her hammer? Why is she holding a spoon? What's the latest? Let's find any clues yet? I found a spoon. Now if we find two more, we can dig ourselves out. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh my god. Oof. Dig ourselves out on a train. I'll keep looking. Okay, let's talk. Find any clues yet? Oh yeah. Literally like. Start interrogation. Amy, we believe you're hiding something from us. What? You accuse me on my own birthday? How dare you? This isn't going to be easy, is it? I've been stuck in here just like the two of you. What in the world do you think I'm hiding? Amy was awake before Tails and I were. What could she have done in that time? Attempted to escape. I don't think you're sitting idly while Buckaroo and I were knocked out. You attempted to escape the closet. Prove it. Show me evidence that I attempted to escape or help me search for a way out. Do we have evidence to prove that? Let me step you through this. First find the correct piece of evidence from your inventory. Once that has been deduced, we must form our argument to fight back. Alright, let's do it. What proves Amy attempted to escape the dining car closet? I guess a broken crack? What's some damage on a shelf is supposed to prove something? It fell over. Damage makes sense. You have no argument here. You're grasping. Oof. Okay, Tails. What now? Now we follow up, the, follow up this train of thought. How does the crack on the shelf relate to Amy? So now I have to explain myself. Well, you see, I, uh, well, <laughs> when I get stumped, I like to think. What would Sonic do? What would Sonic do? <laughs> Sonic's a force to be reckoned with. He's always running forward, collecting rings, crushing bad nicks. He never loses. Like, like an endless runner game. I play a lot of those on my phone. Uh, sure, whatever works. Just close your eyes and think. What would Sonic do? And find your argument. Um... I have no idea what Sonic would do, to be honest. Alright, let's prove we're not grasping. Let's follow the train of thought and fire a comeback. Like Sonic would do. Think. Oh, okay. Do I have to control? Okay. I'm ready. Oh, wrong buttons. Oops. Let's collect some coins. Yeah, this is like the good old days. Oh, silly do silly. Did I win? I got him. Sure, the shelf fell, but there's nothing around for the shelf to fall into. You're telling me on a train this well kept that the damage was here before we arrived? <gasps> well, I uh I believe someone is responsible for hitting the shelf. You just said nothing was around for the shelf to fall into. What was the shelf hit with then? The stick. Gotta be the stick, man. What is that? A stick? You truly believe a stick could do this kind of damage? Okay, dokly. Oh shit. Oops, sleep, sleep. Whoa. That's not so hard. <laughs> Dream gear. <laughs> Game gear. You're right, a stick can't do this kind of damage to the shelf on its own. But if it's attached to something, it could, like, let's say, a hammer? I, this isn't a stick at all, is it? This is actually the handle to your pickle pickle hammer. 
You attempted to hit the shelf out of the way, but you failed. The handle to your hammer snapped right off. Ah, uh... It's as you both said, I tried to get us all out of here with my hammer, but I failed. I gave the shelf one big whack and the handle ripped right off. I figured it was no big deal, but I tried to hide it. But I suppose my embarrassment got the better of me. She does look genuinely sorry about the situation. I never expected your hammer to snap like that, Amy. It was one of my backups. It was a little lighter to carry around. I didn't think I'd need it. Well, lucky for you, I'm a detective and I dabble as a mechanic. Let me see both pieces of the hammer. Just tighten things here, a little bit of elbow grease here, and fixed. Tails, thank you. According to my calculations, if you should help the shelf right here, it should do the trick. All right, stand back. The shelf completely shattered. Incredible. We did it. We're free. Great job, Amy. Let's get out of here. Nice. Freedom. Oh shit, this place looks like... This looks... <laughs> Wait, is that... It can't be. Oh, my main man's dead. Sonic, no. Sonic! Someone murdered my... <laughs> oh, my darling Sonic. <laughs> Sonic! Looks like the game's begun. I'm finding out who did this at once. Amy, wait. I want to figure out who did this too. Wait for me. <laughs> what a whirlwind. What a twist! I'm excited, exhausted already. That was really convincing, Sonic. Uh, Sonic? Sonic? <laughs> uh... Body numb, can't move. What What are you saying? I don't understand. I just need to rest. Sonic? Sonic! Is he actually hurt? He's not moving. Are these wounds on him genuine? My hand's on his wrist, but I don't see his pulse. Am I doing this right? What in the world is going on? Is this part of the murder mystery? Or is this serious? Wait, is, <laughs> is Sonic actually dead? Sonic! Sonic! Oh no, oh no, I feel myself panicking. Calm down, Buckaroo. What do I do? Is my main man Sonic actually dead? I need you to do everything in your power to make sure the guests, make sure our paying guests are well taken care of, understood? The guests are incredibly renowned, which means they must be remarkably rich. So I leave their care to you, Buckaroo, my favorite employee. Surely you, my, your favorite employee, it's literally my first day on the job. <laughs> wow. Surely you won't let me down on this last ride. Fa ha 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 ha. First day on the job, and I already. I already effed up. I need to catch up to Amy and Tails and get to the bottom of this, even if this is part of the game. I just can't risk it. I'll keep everyone safe, Conductor. You'll see. My main man, Sonic. The murder of Sonic the Hedgehog. Saloon car, okay. Whoa, look at this place. Amy? Amy, are you here? I've looked around, I don't see her. I think Amy's already gone on ahead. It seems she's really excited. Did you need something from me? Um, yeah, just a question, really. How do I put this? What if Sonic is actually hurt? Ha 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 ha. He's laughing. Sonic doesn't go down as so easily. He's on a train full of his friends. Nothing would actually happen to him. We're just already committed to the... Well, he's already smashed the TV, so I guess he probably got a life. We're just already committed to the mystery for Amy. You have nothing to worry about. Promise. Plus Sonic likes to nap in a lot of strange spots. He's fine. He's making a lot of sense. Really? But I can't shake what Sonic said to me. Is this really part of the murder mystery game? Or is there something deeper happening? I need more evidence to figure out what's going on. Can I tag along? It's my job to keep it. Uh, yeah. 
If you don't mind, is it cool if I tag along with you? Of course, sure. Now if I ever need a snack, you've got me. <laughs> fair. As I said, the best detectives have psychics, so I'm happy to have you. If you ever catch me looking glum though, just know it's because, uh, where's my lord card? The last guy to work a case with me ditched our practice to join the evil Dr. Eggman. Not a proper detective without baggage. This is true. Ye varmints. What are y'all doing in my saloon? He's trying so hard to stay in character. Knuckles, we're trying to figure out who murdered Sonic. I can see that. Amy mosey true here and told me all about it. <coughs> Enough of that. Wonder how long you kept that voice up for Amy. We were wondering if you could tell us what you were up to before the murder. Anything to help us establish your alibi and... Nope. I have nothing to tell either of you. Leave me alone. He's obviously agitated about something. But why can't I take it out on us? I know better than to argue with Knuckles, so it seems we're on our own. Buckaroo, we need to figure out what Knuckles was up to while we were all apart. Let's investigate for clues and then interrogate. Right, let's do it. What's in the trash? Something's always in the trash. Sadly, this one is empty as well. I'm starting to think your theory on something always being hidden in the trash is flawed. It's only a matter of time, Tails, that lipstick on it. It's as they say, one man's trash trash is another man's treasure. Haha. <laughs> I think Tails is ignoring me. Is that lipstick on the glass? Buckaroo, this is interesting. Probably Amy's. What is it? It's just a few used cups. Sure, but why are there three? Uh, Knuckles was really thirsty? Buckaroo, this one has lipstick on the rim. That's not Knuckles' colour at all. Someone else must have been here. We should log this. Used cups are added to your inventory. Clearly we won't be able to give the game Super Monkey Ball a try. Oh man, that's a good game. Do we think it broke when the train sped up? The damages look to be look more to be caused from punches. Who could have done that? Did Knuckles break up with the girlfriend and like done an entire uh what? What are you... Oh, sorry. Sorry, guys. <laughs> what are you two looking at me for? Smash Arcade is added to your inventory. I think we've found enough clues. Let's go and target Knuckles and find out what really happened. What's this? Ah, the bowl of assorted nuts. The classic slithered in the snack. Crunch, crunch, crunch. Kind of bland. <laughs> Seems like someone licked all the salt off him. That's nasty. Or maybe they're just unsalted. Uh, that's funny, the door is locked tight. We can't go any further. I wonder if Amy was able to leave then. Good point. When were these doors locked and how long were they locked for? We'll have to keep this in mind. The robotic arms here are really helpful. What? What's the arm doing to my hair? He fixed it up a bit. That's incredible. What interesting tech. Uh oh, should I fear for my job a little bit? How well can it microwave? <laughs> Anything else in here? <laughs> Dude totally must have smashed up the arcade. I thought I told you to leave me alone. Please don't beat me up. No promise. <laughs> Knuckles, would you ever fight me? No, you bruise too easily. Wouldn't be fun. I bruise easily too. I guess it wouldn't be fun to fight either. No, I'd fight you. <laughs> Jesus Christ, this sounds like a total like... This sounds like a night out in the pub in uh, Ireland. <laughs> Sorry, Buckaroo. I wish you luck. He's not actually going to fight me, right? What now? Okay. I like your hat. <laughs> Knuckles, are you blushing? I said leave me alone. It doesn't look like he's used to being complimented. Did you just adjust your hat a bit so we could see it better? I said leave! Can I take your order? Not hungry. Well, if you ever are, you'll let me know, won't you? Sure, like a butler of sorts, right? Come on, Buckery. You're not a butler. Tell him that. Uh, yeah, like a butler. Excellent. Thank you, butler. 
dang it. <laughs> I thought I told you to leave me alone. Let's start the interrogation. Knuckles, Buckaroo and I need to determine what you, you are doing during the hour the murder took place. I already told you, buzz off. You're not getting anything out of me. Frankly, we don't need you to say much. What happened here is pretty obvious. It, it is? We have evidence too. We do? Buckaroo, just take a look. Good look at our inventory. What was distracting Knuckles during the time Sonic was murdered? He was... He was... Having a drink with a girl? <laughs> Wrong choice, Buckaroo. Let's try again. What could have been distracting Knuckles? Oh, he smashed up the arcade. The arcade machine? Ha! What makes you think I touched it? Let's... Let's... Whoops! Dipsly dipsly! Oh, I missed some, missed some rings here. Oh, shit. Oh my god, there's like so many crazy shit now. Wow. This is getting a little more complicated. I guess. Oh no! Uh, well, um, you see, we have no argument there. You're weak. Ouch. Let's follow the train again, sh shall we? Ipsily dipsily. Okay, one more guy. Let's try this again. Oh no! I lost some rings. Nice. Okay. This is the tough one, Knuckles. Knuckles, you clearly touched the arcade machine because the arcade cabinet is covered in punches. Your hair was fucked at the scene. Super Monkey Ball is your favorite game. What evidence do you have that the damages are punches? Hmm. What are y'all staring at my hands for? Knuckles, you clearly destroyed the arcade machine, but why? I needed a punching bag, and none were available to me. Just a sudden urge to punch, huh? I believe repairing the arcade machine will give us our answer. How will you- I'm on it, Buckaroo. Distract Knuckles while I fix Super Monkey Ball. <laughs> He's gonna kick my ass. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oops. Oh dear. Oh no. Okay, Donna. Ooh. Jeez, they're getting a little tougher. The arcade machine is fixed. No, don't look at the scores. Quick, look at the scores. I'm pulling it up now. Someone bet him by one point, point and, he had, and he smashed up the... <laughs> wow. Okay, what does this tell us? Nothing, obviously. It tells us something massive. Look at the name at the top of the list. App, toast, apple, bread, ultim, bagel, candy. <laughs> this vector is supposed to be in the library car. Hmm? The pictures begin to paint, paint it here. You competed with vector to see who would, could get the highest score. And Vector beat you. And in frustration, you destroyed the arcade cabinet. Grrr. He's punching the air in frustration. You're guessing. Where's your proof? Where's your evidence? Vector's a common name. Prove to me he was here. Now. Okay. Bring it on. Oh, whoops. Whoops. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Jesus, this is getting insane. Oof. Now, Bookery, what proves Vector was here with Knuckles? The glasses, obviously? No! I thought it was strange there was more than one cup sitting next to you. Why, you were supposed to be participating in the murder mystery game for Amy's birthday. You and Vector enjoyed some drinks playing arcade. It's, I'm, it's not like, it's not, I wasn't. Ah, uh, don't tell Amy. I think we're on the right track here. It's as you say, Vector popped in at the top of the hour wanting to play the arcade machine with me. We went back and forth trying to figure out the game, figure the game out. 
but when we did, we competed for the high score. When he bested me, I destroyed the machine. No proof of his win. I was trying to fix the arcade machine before you two came in, honest. I didn't want to be caught. And that's my story, and alibi. I've already told when the bridge version of this to Amy. Boy, this friend group has a lot of pride issues. Well, that explains one of the used cups. What are the cup with the lipstick mark? Rouge was in here too. Ooh. It's inconsequential, not worth mentioning. Like, her lips aren't the same color, right? She starts around for something but failed, made fun of our game and left. Obnoxious, that one. But you offered her a drink, apparently. Listen, I don't know why she showed up. And I told you everything that happened before the train, train sped up. Are you not satisfied? Will you two relent? Hmm. I'm understanding the scenario. Vector visited to play games. Rouge couldn't find something and left. Then Knuckles destroyed the machine. That all makes sense to me. Thank you for answering so many of our quest. Actually, that's not everything, is it, Knuckles? I want to step back to something I noticed. One more name on that high score list doesn't make sense. Buckaroo, can you take a look one more time? An odd name on the high score list. What is Tails talking about? Obviously, it's Altum because that's bagel, candy, bread, apple, toast. They're all like names. All the other names have a food theme. Yeah, food theme. That's what I meant to say. But this one. Who here goes by Altum? You may not know Buckaroo, but there's someone here that goes by the title, the ultimate life form. Shadow. Th there's really someone here that goes by that? Nothing seeks by you, bud, does it? Vector and I were struggling so much with the game, but then Shadow dropped by. So Shadow was here too? He taught us the game and was the first to get his name on the scoreboard. Vector and I then fought to beat Shadow's score. They're both very annoying. You all immediately had to compete, huh? He gave me this before he left. Shadow told me to lock the door there and to not open it for anyone. Then he left. When Vector was leaving, I locked the door behind him, so saw no one else after locking the door. That's the honest truth. So when Amy came through here, not too long ago, did you open the door for her? No, I think she had some sort of key too. That's right, the conductor gave her that special birthday key. Well, I have a lot of questions. What happens in the library to cause the Vector to come here? Why is Shadow locking doors? Well, what was Rouge searching for? I don't know, they didn't tell me. Even though I asked for that cowboy accident. You're gonna have to find them and ask them yourselves. <clears throat> More information than I expected to get there, but it seems we can move on. As of right now, I believe your story, Knuckles. We'll only know for sure when we confirm things with Vector. Fair enough. The library is the next car. I'll open the lock for you. Give whoever KO'd Sonic an earful for me. Detective Tails and Butler. I liked it better when he wasn't talking to us. Will do, Sheriff. Come on, Buckaroo. Let's head to the library. Let's all go to the library. On it. This is way more exciting than microwave and chili dogs. Buckaroo. Cook coming. Oakley, Oakley. What is this? Howdy, partners. Oh, shit. What is this? Oh, okay, pause. Uh, <clears throat> guys, I think I'm going to leave this playthrough right here at this part. I hope you're enjoying this content. I hope I'm not annoying the crap out of you. Um, I'll be back very shortly for another part of this very soon. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And thanks for watching, guys.